Hello everyone and welcome to Dolphin Adventures. We are home to 15 bottomless dolphins, ranging in age from just 4 years old, all the way up to 44 years young. Now we love to care for and celebrate these animals each and every day. So, I have just one question for all of you. Are you ready to meet some dolphins? Great, because they are all so excited to meet all of you and they are making their way out as we speak. Like I said a little bit earlier, we are home of 15 bottlenose dolphins. That includes the Pacific and Atlantic. So if you're trying to figure out who's a Pacific bottlenose dolphin and who's an Atlantic, just look at their coloration and size. Pacific bottlenose dolphins are going to be a lot larger and a lot darker than their Atlantic bottlenose dolphin counterparts. And I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. We are also home to one common dolphin named Bullet. She's about 300 pounds and a lot smaller than her bottlenose dolphin friend. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, first up we have a wonderful mother coming up to give you all a big wave hello and wave back because she can absolutely see you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the one and only Malibu. It looks like, oh, there she is. Alrighty, and next up we have another very special doll. This is going to be showing off for all of you. She's one of our seven-year-olds showing off a behavior she just learned. She's getting ready, ladies and gentlemen, it's Sarah Soda. And last, but certainly not least, she's the most amazing dolphin in the entire world. Look up to the sky, because this is Lanika! And of course, we cannot forget about our dedicated team of trainers who care for these animals each and every day. Please say hello to our talented team! Now, ladies and gentlemen, these dolphins have a ton of energy and they love to have fun. So let's all watch as they show us just how they celebrate life! you get that job. But like most of you, as I got older, I moved farther away from SeaWorld until I ended up going to college in LA for music. Thank you. That was, yeah, that has nothing to do with dolphins. I am very much aware. But after a little bit of time up there, I decided this is not what I want to do. I'm spending way too much money and I'm way unhappy. So I moved down to San Diego by myself. I got my very first job at Journey to Atlantis. Has anyone been on the water roller coaster in the back of the park? A few of you. It has been raining all day, but good job. That was me 10 years ago. I slowly made my way into this department for what you're watching behind me. Yes, the spins, the flips, the jumps, they're really cool to watch. They're even more fun to train. 
but it's the relationship sessions that we get with our animals that really make this job. And I do mean that honestly. We are required to spend dedicated amounts of time building a relationship with these animals. If I'm going to care for anything properly, I need to know what it is that they like and what they don't like. Parents, how many of you have ever given your kids a spinach smoothie after they cleaned their rooms? There's zero hands up, exactly, because that's not how this works. If I want to reward you and encourage you to keep going, I'm going to give you something that you like. And every single dolphin out here is completely different, just like you and I are. They have their own interests, their own quirks, things they like to do, things they don't like to do. And it's our job to figure out each and every one of them. For instance, you have one of our youngsters out here, Sarasota. She is about seven years old. She loves to learn, and she's got a ton of energy right here with Morgan. Very excited to learn this new behavior. But she needs to tone it down just a little bit. I love your excitement and energy, but we need a little bit more control. And she's like, I love doing this. Is a thing. Okay, that's cool, but just like tone it back. But we also have the princess of Dolphin Amphitheater. We lovingly nicknamed her that, Miss Zana. She is extremely particular and knows exactly what she likes and what she doesn't like, and she's very good at letting you know what she likes and what she doesn't like. Now, it's because of these relationships with these animals that we have the opportunity to introduce them to some of you, like my friend Carl. Is that you? Come on down this way, buddy. So I'm gonna have you come to the top of the steps here, and we are going to be meeting Miss Princess Zana. So she's going to come out here, and what I want you to do is when she shows up, you're going to take two hands just like this. You're going to give her a big, big wave, all right? Here she comes. Very nice. Two hands out. Give her a big wave. Say hello. Good job, Mama. Now, she is one of our loudest, so what I want you to do is you're going to cover your eyes, and on the count of three, you're going to open them and say boo. You have to say boo, otherwise it doesn't work, okay? Ready? One, two, three, boo! Did I scare you? Oh, just a little bit. All right. Now that you've been properly introduced, give her a little background. What does she feel like? Uh-oh. A dolphin. Yeah, I love that. It's great. Dolphins are nice and smooth to help them stay hydrodynamic in the water. Uh, that way they swim really, really fast. Now, one thing about Zana is she's a little tickly. So what I want you to do is we're going to tickle her right here in between your pecs. Okay, just a little tickle. Yep. Yeah. A little bit. Oh, there you go. Very nice. I know that was great. All right, so you've been a fantastic volunteer. What I want you to do is you're going to come stand right here. Where's your family, photographers? Right up there. Perfect. Just kidding. You're going to come stand right here. You're going to face the audience, specifically your photographers. You're going to wave at everybody because they're super jealous and they want to be you right now. So just give them a nice big wave. Zana's going to wave with her tail because she doesn't have hands. And I'm just going to go over here for no reason. You know, I'm starting to think Zana might be doing that on purpose. How is everybody feeling so far? Great, I love to hear it, but you are not going to want to go anywhere because we have so much more fun planned for all of you. They have already had the opportunity to meet Zana and some of her bottomless dolphin friends. But did you know there is actually another species of animal that calls dolphin amphitheater home? I want to take just a minute to tell you a little bit about our short thin pilot whales. Now, pilot whales can be found all throughout our global oceans, and they're actually close relatives to both bottomless dolphins and the orcas you'll see over at Orca Encounter. Now, both Ava and Piper are rescued animals, and they each have their own unique stories and personalities. And one of the very best parts of getting to be a trainer here is getting to know every single animal on that individual level. Now, when Ava and Piper were rescued, they were estimated to be just three months of age and only weighed 300 pounds. And I know you're all thinking, Micah, 300 pounds, that sounds like a lot. But these are pilot whales we're talking about. They're the second largest species of dolphin right behind orcas. And since COVID about 10 years ago, they have each grown just a little bit. And they each weigh over 1,800 pounds, and they are not done growing yet. Now, Ava and Piper have a zest for life. They're extremely playful and incredibly curious. And one of the very best ways you can build your relationship with them is through a little bit of playtime. So please watch and enjoy this very special playtime between Ava, Piper, and their trainers, Wendy and Dylan. Thank you. 
Sadly, that was a super special playtime, and you are not going to want to go anywhere because we are not finished yet. In fact, in just a moment, we are going to be asking out our entire pod of bottom-up dolphins for a grand finale that's going to feature some high-flying behaviors that none of you have seen yet. But if for some reason you absolutely do have to leave, I'm going to ask that you make your way up and out of the top of the amphitheater. Please do not use the side exits until we've concluded our presentation. It's for the safety of our animals. Now before we do jump into that big grand finale I just promised you, I want to share with you a very special milestone that every single person here at SeaWorld is incredibly proud of, and that is with SeaWorld's rescue program. Since SeaWorld opened its doors back in 1964, we have come to the aid of over 41,000 animals company-wide, and over 550 animals right here at SeaWorld San Diego last year alone. But we absolutely could not have done that without all of your help and support. So thank you all so much for being here today. Now, as our amazing animals begin to make their way back out, we do hope that they inspire you to protect the oceans that surround us. Not just for us, but for generations to come. Well, folks, it does. Looks like the gang is all here, and that means it's time for some more fun. So, let's look it up, because the world is ours. From the sky to the sea, yeah. to the air we breathe. From the depths of the earth to the stars. Thank you so much for sharing your day with us here at SeaWorld San Diego. Bye-bye.